I mean, we can we can just start right away with just talking about the background of this compilation a bit. I I told that um Tuesday um on the reaction of the the teaser today and. Yeah, the, the Torture Torn oh, compilation no, just came out. Okay, thank you for the sub and for the great copy pasta. Beautiful. Um, so our new compilation series um, got its first instance and it came out today and it's called Torture Torn. And it's pretty much an homage to the classic old school tear out death step, heavy dubstep vibe uh, from back in the days with um, a few new faces, a few old faces like Facebook and me and Mantis. Um, Evoxo, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're in the stream now. Welcome. Um, then we got some, some newcomers like Deadweight, Bloodcrest, um, Bloodset, and many more that just kill the game right now. We got someone like Dissinity on it. And this compilation is pretty much... I'm pretty confident to say that it's it might be the heaviest most brutal dubstep compilation in years. Um, in my opinion, nothing that was released over the last years came close to this. Um, and I'm pretty confident about that. And yeah, it's, it's just a little throwback to the heavy brutal dubstep that we all love, that we kind of found together here with because most of you guys know code pandorum came here because of code pandorum and um yeah i would say let's not wait too long let's just start right away um i will just make my screen big because it's just on spotify yet we are still rendering the teasers and stuff um and yeah let's start with the first one monophobia by bloodcrest and burnt <laughs> Um, fun fact, Burnt is a long-time friend of mine from Canada. David, thank you for seven months. I appreciate it. And again, beautiful copy pasta. We, we need more subs like that. Um, so Burnt is a good, good friend of mine from Canada. I know him for years and years. There's another sub I didn't catch, but thank you so much. Um, Kizzo, thank you, dude. And he is just a, just a wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, just a beautiful soul making music for a long time now and yeah finally released another song with us and Bloodcrest is a great guy that I just found randomly because he liked one of my one of my posts I checked his socials and I really liked what I was seeing um, so make sure to check out these guys Bloodcrest and Burnt both definitely worth checking out and now let's check it Monophobia a more beautiful intro already. Oh yeah, and this song is mastered by me, by the way. That's beautiful, Jason. <laughs> My pleasure. The distortion in the intro is beautiful. The melody is great as well. This one is so heavy, man. Excited we can check it on stream here. Really, really cool. Ionic, thank you for the gifts up. Right, David? That's what I thought. So heavy, man.
Little interlude. Your thesis, what's good, man? This part, this flow is so good. Hopefully, Minotaur is just an excuse for shitty mixdowns these days, to be honest. Also great transitions and stuff. This one is just so well executed. I'm not sure who did what on this, but it sounds really cohesive. Like the whole thing sounds like one product and I love that. I think this interlude could use some drums, but that's really nitpicky. Uh, this is Tear Out. Tear Out or Death Step, whatever you want. Uh, there we go. This is 100%. Pretty brutal thing. Great outro as well, just wonderfully executed. And I'm really happy that I think it's Bloodcrest's first release, second release. And I'm excited that we have this guy on board. He's really someone to, to look out for. He just supported Sudden Death, um, Danny. And uh, I think he will make some moves and maybe we can arrange an EP on our label or something. I would love to hear that. Next up. We got man like Deadweight, uh, someone who is quite known for some people on the label already because he remixed my song Sentinel. And yeah, I explained everything in the reaction of Sentinel. Um, just a great guy that I met at a show in America. And he's killing it. He got his own style. I love his attitude, his, his look. It's just someone that slays the game right now and has a really, really unique style of tear out, if you want to call it like that. And I know that's the first one in which all these subgenres stand here. Yeah, it's on subgenre. Dubstep is not a subgenre. Dubstep is just the, the overall genre name. It's a subgenre of electronic music, yeah, but it's dubstep is dubstep. It's kind of like metal. It's a subgenre of music, yeah. Also, these screams you hear in this song are from that weight, and I love the sound of that. He has such a fucking dope voice. Insane. Man, I get that. Um, the thing is, we try to definitely keep a quality standard that most heavy dubs about terror combinations don't do. So I think, I personally think this is like a really, really solid selection of um, this kind of music. But I totally get if it's not your style, you obviously won't get into that. But this is how Crowsness started, and I love that we are bringing it back with this. And something I didn't check it yet. I will check it next Tuesday, actually. Ah! 
Well executed fake drop. Really, really dope. Really, really dope. Such a, such a banger. Next up, we got someone that I didn't know so far. He just sent us a submission with some music and we initially thought, damn, this would be a great fit for our compilation, um, for the tarot compilation that we're working on. Um, and he said, yeah, let's fucking do that. And I actually met him at the first Machinist show. Uh, in the Netherlands, and he he's a great guy. Like, wh what should I say? He's just an hum a humble guy making heavy as fuck music. And pretty well done, I think. See some really, really nice sound design in this, great mix down, great vocals. Just a banger, Deathmatch by Ricky West and Chris Luna. A bit of maybe, yeah. That way it is definitely someone with heavy sound design. This flow now is so dope. So good. It's a little bit It's so cool. snare could hit a bit harder but it's it's okay little nit nitpicky let's say but not yet no great part here this is really sick Metallic layer, dude, so sick. We call him less fuck. <laughs> Just, just a dance floor banger, not gonna lie. Really, really great fake drop um, with the metallic sound design and everything. I really, really, really like it. Um, next up, to change the mood a bit, um, we got something interesting here. So I have to, to circle around the topic a bit. Um, on this compilation, we have someone from Russia, um, Bloodset. 
Hey, Paul. Um, and we have someone from the Ukraine. And I don't want to get too political here or anything, but both songs are pretty much about the same topic. Um, K Ross with We Aren't the Same. Um, he made the song. Not sure how deep I should go here, but he made the song while um, he had a really bad time because of the, the ongoing, um, sh should I call it war? I think so. Um, hey folks, if you like what you're seeing in this video, make sure to support my channel with checking out my Patreon to get some exclusive content like early access videos, behind the scenes stuff, presets, stamps to my songs, etc. It supports this channel immensely and my project as a human. Thank you so much. And it's just, it's a shitty situation. And um, with Bloodset on this compilation, um, we have someone from Russia also talking about the bad sides of of Russia and against Russian corruption, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And Honestly, we, we didn't think about this compilation like having this kind of impact or anything, but it's really crazy to just see that we have two people on there, one from the Ukraine, one from Russia, and both have a song about the same topic and criticizing the same topic and being on the same compilation now. Um, and honestly, having a Discord server with both of them talking about the ongoing stuff, it's... It literally gave us goosebumps. Like me and my wife were sitting there and they have been talking about that stuff on a in a really, really fruitful way and sympathized with each other and just talked respectfully about what's going on. And me and my wife were sitting there just reading the Discord and we had freaking goosebumps because it was a weird, surreal situation thinking about everything that's going on. As I said, I don't want to go too deep here, but I at least want to address that. Um... It's crazy. No, they were not arguing. They were just talking. They were just talking. And that was incredible. So, Kairos, we are not the same. The blood said, great that you're in the chat. Uh, I hope I didn't get anything wrong. Um, I didn't want to go too deep, of course. Um, but it's, it's great to hear that, that you, ju you just had... Um, yeah, a good conversation. Yeah, it is, Kizzle. Also, um, just to address the artist behind this, I completely forgot this. Um, Kairos is incredible. Um, he sent us more than one demo and we are working on more releases with him and everything he sent is at least like 9.5 out of 10 pretty excited for his stuff not gonna lie i think this one honestly just sound wise to me is the weakest of the songs he sent but it was the most fitting for this compilation but i'm so excited for his other stuff not gonna lie exactly paul IBM, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And thanks for the following, welcome to the stream. Transition. Canada Zero. Great. 
great stuff. It's it's simple. It's simple, but it's it's really really well done. Like the the flows are pretty simple. It's straightforward. A bit repetitive at moments, absolutely, I, I totally see that, but I still think it fits and the sound design is beautiful, the mix down is fantastic. It could use some more high ends here and there, but besides that it's fantastic. And it, it just has like the, the perfect old school vibe we wanted for this compilation. By the way, there is a good telephone ring sound. Um, and just to educate a bit, why does it work? It has the right flow pattern for that. And it is in key. Instead of all these other telephone weird ass sounds everyone is putting on their drops. This one is well done and it works. Transition is so dope. Really great song. I love the atmosphere. I think some melodicity in the drop would would have helped this song, but maybe then it wouldn't fit on the compilation. So I think it's it's just well executed. I love this one. Um, so next up, um, we got the counterpart, um, our friend from Russia, Bloodset, who did many artworks for us. Um, and it's a feature with Death Channel, a quiet. All right, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, with Death Channel, who are quite famous in Russia um, and incredible vocalists, uh, pretty, pretty sick band. So let's uh, check out Cheap Rave, which might be the most fucked up song on the compilation. I think I can say that pretty confidentially. <laughs> Wait, am I playing Doom? I suddenly want to kill demons! Welcome, my man. How are you, dude? A 
insane, really. So good. Great melody again. Classic Bloodset vibe. This is what Metal Step should be. Zero. Exactly. Miss you too, man. Dude, the metal production is so good. Vulcan mix. I guess I know it's from Death Channel, the vocals. No, you don't have to pay. I don't react uh, to submissions. Um, you either have to follow my Discord, exclamation mark Discord. Um, there I do uh, feedback stream regularly, um, but here on stream I just react to new releases. Disgusting, man. Choir. Right, foreign. I miss your music, though. Uh, Corey, we will start uploading the feedback streams next week. Um, we will be on vacation for two weeks, so we needed some fodder for that. Um, but next week, I think every other day should be like a like a feedback stream upload on YouTube. Um, yeah, Bloodset, Death Channel, great job, great vocals, great production, incredible sound design, just a 10 out of 10. Masterpiece, not gonna lie, this is really, really fucking epic. Next up, we got something quite interesting. Face Split is back with a collaboration with Solace Cult. And Solace Cult are actually... I, I don't know how, how open they are about their identity, but it's also, it's their first release. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um... And I know one half of Solus Cult for, I don't know, it must be eight, nine years, ten years, maybe, it's insane. There he is. There you are. Um, is it okay if I, if I drop your name and stuff? Um, not sure how, how open you are with the identity about Solus Cult and stuff. Just want to make sure. So yeah, it's Davy, and I know Davy for ages. And I think he was he was the guy that brought me to the Netherlands for the first time back in the days ever. Um, at least he was involved in that, and that's where I met him. So yeah, full circle moment here. He releasing on my label now is just fucking dope, and the song is insane. So this called Face Split, Wrath of God. Let's go. Classic Death Step vibes. Tip, by the way, Mark, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it, man. Um, little tip here on these kind of vocals: just put an OTT on it um, and turn down the um, the the upwards compression and turn up the time completely and put it on like um, twenty percent depth or something. Um, then you get like a more crystal clear mix down on the vocals. Of course, cut some of the low end out afterwards, but like this, it sounds a bit muffled compared to the really high sounds. So this could help to, to just bring them out a bit, a bit better.
late now, but for the future. So good, man. Great flows. a bit, but I still think it works. This flow here is so dope. And back to the outro. It is suffocated, it is. It's really, really old school. But I, I love the execution. Yeah, David, if I get that. Could be a bit edgier at times, I know what you mean, but I still think it's well executed and... For first release, this is fantastic. Of course, shout out to Facebook as well for um, doing the final touch of the song. It's, it's great, it's great. Well, well done and welcome to the label, guys. Um... Um, Paul, you're right. Yes. <laughs> and my voice. It's our voices, actually. Uh, next, we got Weezox with Cybernetic Sublimation. And honestly, I can't say a lot to Weezox. He just submitted this um, and we had some back and forth about the mix down and stuff. But now it's on a point where we really liked it. We wanted to release it because it's a banger. And this is like classic mantis type nimda tear out um in the best way possible so let's check it out snare here dude
the percussion. Jether, it's the new compilation of my label Crossness called Torture Town. Uh, the first one just came out. Really great flows on this one. Suffocate, yes. There is a little one, you see? Yep, yeah. but I think especially to, to also cover like the, the classic tear out, this is a really, really great fit and well executed by Rezox. And I think his, his later stuff will be even better and more fleshed out. But this is a really, really good start. Um, next up, we got my good old friend and <laughs> grandpa um, Mantis on the compilation, which is so dope. Back in the days, I say it all the time, Brad Killer, Mantis, Sadu, my biggest inspirations ever. And having Mantis on this first Terra Out Death Step compilation on Crossness now is is really really dope, and I I love seeing that. And he featuring with Balance, who is someone I'm working with quite a while now for um, releases on Fixed. Um, having Balance on the compilation, uh, he he's a pretty pretty big artist, right? Um, he he does great stuff. And is definitely a great vocalist and metal producer. Um, so let's check it out. Mantis and Balance. Thoughts and prayers. I kind of like the UI though, with the artwork being right. I really like that. Yeah, vocal is insane. Guitar is dope. Classic Manta sound. It's literally sound like suicide silence. It's so dope. Yeah. 
It's fine, dude. Let's go, metal breakdown. <laughs> man this is such a well executed fitting package in my opinion it's so 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 good really really good we got mantis and thank you for being on the compilation next up we got our yeah indian wonder child zero marks um having a release on our cyanotica nanos first now being on our next lock compilation with a song called death march um it's a really good song um Let's check it out. <laughs> Maybe Paul, I don't know. Next trauma, what's good, man? Nostromo, I think we need you on the next compilation of, of this kind, right? Hint, hint. Love that vocal sample. with the Reese. This part is cool here. Yeah. <laughs> the Volkets here sounds sick by the way. Yeah, it could be better. I still think it works. Really, Zero? I didn't know that. Funny. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can do that, Davy. Might be a mistake. <laughs> nice flow switch here. the drum processing here. Yeah, definitely a good one, man. Definitely a good one. And I had it stuck in my brain like the first few hits with the uh-uh focus sample. I had it stuck in my head for a few days, so we got some of that. Uh, next up, we got... Um, yeah, I want to say a longtime student of mine um, who is improving extremely fast. He's in the chat, Doom Thesis. Hey man, what's good? Um, has one of the most unique sound designs um, in the scene at the moment, in my opinion. Um, always trying new stuff, trying different sounds, trying different techniques and just learning and improving. And also, he might be one of my favorite students because he just... He respects what I'm saying and really puts it into the stuff he's doing. And like on the next session, I'm like, oh, you did that on that, right? Nice. <laughs> so it's, it's always a pleasure with this guy. He's, he's a great person. Um, just played a show, um, a pretty, pretty dope one in fucking Israel, I think. Um, and he's, he's just sick. Chain reaction, doom thesis. Garf in the chat. These industrial screeches and industrial rusty sounds, it's so dope. And I love the snare. Classic intro, I like that. Reminds me of old days.
Nice. Really, really, really sick. The sound design is just fantastic. I think the flow in the second drop um, is a bit dragging because it has that many pauses. But it still really, really works. And I love the execution. I love the, the atmosphere, the sound design. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy you're on this compilation and I'm happy that we might work more often in the future together. Uh, next up, we got someone from America again. Um, I think from Chicago, actually, um, who's called Odd Cobra. Um, also a student of mine and a longtime fan of mine and supporter. Um, and yeah, this might be the heaviest song on the compilation. Um, let's check it out. You have to, Jasmine, you have to. Go ahead, cat. Guys, don't take it too serious. I just don't listen to that much tarot stuff in my private time. <laughs> That's why I only saved my song. I obviously saved my song because I love listening to my music. Otherwise, I wouldn't release the music I make. <laughs> Simity, you should accept that offer from Doom. to be that guy but it's just a better executed marauder song <laughs> no but for real i i th the production on this one for the kind of full sound and wall of sound the production is crazy good <laughs> Jasmine, that was uh, that that's what inhuman mentoring does to you, right? <laughs> this midrow section could be a bit more fleshed out though um but i mean you could do anything against that drop and it would sound cheap right <laughs> Days, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, and again, another first release. Um, first song. Like first. No, it's not a first release. I'm sorry. I, I mixed it up with someone else. He released some stuff already. Um, but really, really talented guy. And I think we will see him more often on the label. A little bit more sub. Uh, Darstic, no. More sub would destroy everything. It's just really low, so you might not hear it on your setup. But the sub is pretty, pretty loud already. Um, now we, we come to a special song. Um, my song Possessor with, um, Man Like Dicinity. Um, dude, I'm happy this song is finally out. That was a long ride, not gonna lie. I think Dicinity sent me this back, like, at some of the first feedback stream, he started the song. Um, and I was like, dude, send me this. Um... Yeah, Zyrex, absolutely. Um, Dicinity sent me this, I want to finish this up, or work on it at least. Um, let's make a call up out of that. Um, he sent me this, I... 2020? Oh my god, I'm the worst, dude. <laughs> yeah, um, that, that's what happens when you work on too much stuff. Um, and I take all the weight on my shoulder, I was the one who messed this up. Um, maybe early 20,221, yeah, maybe. Uh, 200, th that was a year. <laughs> but, um, dude, what we made out of this song is freaking, freaking beautiful. The whole vibe of this, um, the first drop that you pretty much entirely crafted again out of my sound design bits that I did for the second drop. Um, the energy of this one, the the whole thing, the vocals, I love this song, man. And honestly, I think this is the song for myself personally, this compilation entirely, but this song especially, because I worked on it, was the one that kind of re-sparked my love for this kind of genre. And I'm working on I, I can drop it now i'm working on a lot more stuff like this and everyone who likes this kind of stuff will really appreciate the future of the inhuman project again i will not stray away from trying different genres and bpm but i have to bring back the distortion right it's just i don't know it's in my blood and now separating like the the techno stuff to another project just gives me I don't know, it, it inspires me again to do what I always love to do. Um, I will send you some stuff after the stream vicinity. Um, but we need brutal fucking electronic music again. And we need it with quality, right? And I, I can't be that guy that moves away from the scene and everything turns into shit now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just excited to do this stuff again. I worked on some music and it just feels really fresh. And separating, separating the techno stuff was the best decision of my life. Um, so round two, dude. Absolutely. Let's fucking do that. So let's check it out. Let's check Possessor and... Yeah, I, I love this tune, man. Dissinity, thank you for finishing this up with me. Um, it's fucking dope. <laughs> My pleasure, man. Oh, this intro. This intro, so much tension, dude.
out to fucking machine gun man. The way I didn't say it yet, great melody you wrote here, man. It's beautiful. For real, I didn't even know that. Crazy. I love the tonality there, man. so much this whole compilation is such a ride and I'm so proud and my wife made this compilation entirely on her own she fucking killed everything the planning my my wife made the artwork my wife drew the fucking logo here and um, yeah we worked our ass off for this compilation and it just honestly it just turned out great it turned out great it turned out beautiful I can't wait for the next one uh, Jasmine, she basically just started for Crow's Nest, yeah. And she's killing it. Um, uh, Ophi, I, I don't see that, honestly. I think it sounds pretty open. It's definitely compressed and fucking loud, but that's kind of on purpose. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was a ride. I love this compilation. I love everyone involved. Thank you for everyone that was involved. Thank you to my wonderful wife. If you see this, you killed it. You really, really killed it. And I'm fucking proud of you. I'm proud of Crow's Nest. Um, and yeah, everyone involved there. <laughs>